you start introduce yourself about today's event? Hi, it's Mitzi Hunter. I'm the CEO of Civic Action, and we're here today at uh, our ELN Studio event, which is talking all about transportation and really a, a call to action to let's get moving to build the better transportation system that we need and that we want in the Greater Toronto and Hamilton area. Uh, Give me some, thing, some information about the Civic Action. So when they started and then what's the mandate? Civic Action is a multi-sectoral non-profit organization that brings leaders together to really talk about some of those tough challenges that we face as a region. And in particular, we come up with ideas and solutions about how to solve them. Today, our number one priority for Civic Action is ensuring that we get transportation built in this region. We're decades behind and it's really time that we do something about it. Civic Action is a Crown Corp, it's a non-profit, and what's that? We're actually a non-profit, non-governmental, non-partisan organization. We're a space that brings together people from all different sectors so that we can collaborate and work together to build a thriving and prosperous city region. So then, where's the funding? Our funding actually comes from corporations who really believe in our work. Uh, we do get some funding from foundations and we get some targeted funding for projects from government. So today is about transportation. I see that it's including the GTA or Hamilton. Yes. So why is that coverage here? It's actually extraordinarily important that if we want to grow and thrive as a region, that we build the networks to really support how people commute and get around the region. And the reality is that people are actually traveling north-south for work, for play, to visit, visit friends and family. They also travel east-west for all, a whole variety of reasons. We need to really support the way people get around in this region and giving them a different choice in terms of their transportation options. They should have a variety of ways of getting Getting around, so we need to build an integrated and connected infrastructure that helps to support that. So that we see that the west side going to Hamilton, what about the east side to, to the boundary? The boundary line would be to Durham, so uh, as far uh, east as Oshawa. Okay, Durham. What about north side? The north side will go all the way up to um, Newmarket, Aurora, York Region area. Okay, so York Region, Durham Region, and also Hamilton. Absolutely. So, and, and don't forget about Peel Region, Mississauga, Brampton area so, as well. So right there, so. Yes. Okay. So is transportation, the current transportation status is so bad or why you have to focus on transportation? Our transportation system is actually not serving our needs at all. We have amongst the worst commute times in all of North America. It's an 82-minute average commute getting around this region. And we're a growing region. We have 100,000 people that are moving into this region each and every year. By 2031, we're going to be moving in 3.5 more million people. How are they going to get around? We have to start building this infrastructure now to prepare for that growth. Additionally, it's costing our economy. It actually costs us $6 billion a year in lost productivity. So really, it's an investment in our growth and in our future. And I know you have a July 32 campaign. Can you talk about that? Yeah, Civic Action is really thrilled to have launched our campaign. It's called What Would You Do With 32? And 32 minutes is the average time that commuters will save on their commute if we build out the Metrolink's big move plan over the next 25 years. And what we're saying to people is tell us that, you know, what you want to see from a better transportation system and what would it do for you personally to see that investment happen. So if people go to your32.com, they will be able to tell us what they would do saving 32 minutes on their average daily commute. Okay, now we see the problem. So what's the solution? What's the proposed solution? The solution really is how are we going to pay for the system that we want? We know we need a better system so everybody understands the problem because everybody is stuck in gridlock. What we need to know is that there is a plan. We have the Metrolink's Big Move plan which really identifies how we have a system that includes drivers, it includes transit users, it even includes cyclists and pedestrians. So everyone will benefit from this improved system from the Big Move but we also have to come to terms with how are we going to pay for that system and that really means that everyone has to contribute and invest in the system that they want. Okay. So it's a collective action. Mm -hmm. Any like practical plan, like I know the pastor will be running pretty soon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You see that so many municipalities and different trans transport systems 
in this region? How you like get everybody talk in the same table and work together? Well, Presto is a wonderful um, upgrade to the uh, transportation and transit infrastructure because it really makes getting around seamless and easy with the one fare card. And that's really important that we have an integrated system that's fully connected. Um, we also have to ensure that people have choices. So we want to change behavior and habits as well. So people, we want them to move out of their cars and onto transit because it's just a more efficient way to manage our transportation system. It's also better for our health and better for our environment in the long term. I see. So I know that you also have a ELN, the Emerging yes. like Leaders Network. So if you look at today's meeting, probably is you got, you know, trying to get the civic, I mean, pressure to make changes or influence the government. And we know that we have three levels of government. So why don't we just make a shortcut, talk to the minister, and maybe get a funding thing going? Well, well, the minister is well aware that we need to invest in transportation. Today, we have over, ten, uh, over 200 rising leaders who have gathered in Markham at IBM to talk about improvements to transportation. And they have, uh, their focus and theme today is let's move. So really, they are the future. They're the ones that need to invest time and energy in ensuring that there's a better future for themselves. So this is a really important conversation. And it's important that we involve young leaders in these decisions as well. Governments need to hear that residents of the region care about this issue. It's important to them. And we we want our governments to act. So it's very important that they hear directly from citizens about the importance of transportation and the need to make those investments now. I like the title, Enough Talk, Let's Move. Enough Talk, Let's Move, but yes. The point is that uh, I think your organization has been talking or trying to, to change the situation for the last like maybe one or two years. And, and then any, any result, any foreseeable changes? Well, what's important about our time right now, and the ELN studio is perfectly timed, in June of 2013, Metrolinx has to present an investment strategy to the province. They actually have to present that strategy by June of 2013. So it's important that we bring focus to this issue and that we make it a priority for everyone. So that means your voice will be integrated in that proposal. Our voice will be included in that proposal, and all of your viewers' voices will be included in that proposal. If they go on to our website, your32.com, and tell us why we need to invest in transportation. So besides transportation, any other like social topics? Civic action you're also focusing on? Well, city, uh, civic action really focuses on what are those things that are going to ensure that we have a thriving region for both people and places in which we live. So we focus on what economic opportunities do we need to have a flourishing region. Environmental topics are really important to us as well, as well as diversity and inclusion and ensuring that we have a leadership that reflects the diversity in our region. All right, thank you. Okay. Good idea.